So this page is very similar to the previous page, but a little bit different. You're going to notice there's special cases. And what I mean is that is if you look at this one, it says 9n plus 4 squared. So what it really means is it's special. You've got to write it two times. That's what squared means. If you have 3 squared, that means 3 times 3. So if you have this whole thing squared, you write it two times. Now you state the dimension, 2 by 2. You do your 2 by 2 box, just like the previous page. So what makes this one special is that it was squared. You write it twice. 9n times 9n, 81n squared. 9n plus 4, 36n. Will you, what you also notice is special about this is that the middles will be exactly the same. And then 4 times 4 is positive 16. And just like before, put the centers together, bring this down, add them, and then bring this down. And that's it. Let's jump down to number 15 as an example. So if you look at number 15, it says squared. What does it mean? You write it again. Then you see the dimension is 2 by 2. You do your box. 8 times 8 is 64. VV is V squared. 8 times negative 1 is negative 8V. It's special, so these are exactly the same. And then a negative times a negative is a positive. Add those together. Bring this down. So in, uh, something I'm kind of worried about is that you're going to tell me that's zero. So negative, let's turn this on, negative 8 minus 8 is negative 16. Make sure you can use your calculator because you will need that for the test to make sure you get the grade that makes you happy. Now there's another type of special case that's really similar. So we're going to go back to number 2. When you look at number 2, it's just as it is. It's a 2 by 2. But you'll see what's a little bit different about it. Multiply like you did before. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12n. 4 times positive 3 is positive 12n. So you'll notice in this one, these are exactly the same. But here, they're actually opposite. And 3 times negative 3, don't subtract. It's 9. Bring down the first one. Put the diagonals together. 12 minus 12 is gone. So if they're opposites, it's like you're taking it away. 3 and negative 3, 0. And so it's just a binomial. So be careful of that because these special cases can get very confusing. If it's the same, you add. If it's different, you subtract and poof, since they're the same, it's gone. Let's jump down to number 14. It's already as I like it, a 2 by 2, 5p plus 2, 5p minus 2, 5 times 5, 25p squared, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10p. 5 times 2p is positive 10p. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Bring down the first. Now they're not the same, so we're not adding them. They're opposite. And 10 minus 10, gone. 25p squared minus 4. This is a pretty short lesson. Uh, I think you guys will be fine. Finish this page. It's worth 4 points.